In this video, we're going to be sketching y equals cosh x in a very similar way to how we did shine x in the previous video. So y equals cosh x is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. So we can look at it as the sum of y equals e to the x over 2 and y equals e to the minus x over 2. So let's take a look at those. So y equals e to the x over 2 will look like this, where that's 1 half. And y equals e to the minus x over 2 looks like this. Okay, and what we're going to be doing is adding those two together. So at x equals 0, we're going to get 1 half plus 1 half, which is 1. So y equals cosh of x goes through 0, 1. Then as x increases in the positive x direction, What's going to happen is that this graph gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, whereas this one gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And I'm adding, I'm adding on smaller and smaller amounts. So what's going to happen is that our curve is going to get closer and closer and closer to this one. But the green one's never going to quite catch it. And in the opposite direction, as x gets uh, larger in the negative direction, we're going to have a similar effect. As this one overtakes. Um, and so what you get is a, it's meant to be symmetric, a symmetric curve, um, like so. And it's got a minimum point at 0, 1. So what we can do is we can then write down the domain and it can reach any real value of x. We'll write it in set notation. And its range, as we can see from the graph, is from 1 and upwards. So y is such that y belongs to the real numbers but y is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, and so that is what y equals cosh of x looks like. 